It's here. We're doing it. It's Vlogmas. And I'm so tired right now. I'm gonna need a minute. Or five. And some orange juice. I don't drink coffee. And it's times like this I wish I did. Ugh, welcome to really tired stuff in the morning. <laughs> My goodness I am I am running late <laughs> I am running late I ideally want to leave in like 10 minutes honestly I would prefer to be leaving in five minutes but I still need to put some makeup on and straighten my hair I know it looks like it's straight but oh my gosh is it even dry I'm having one of those days where <laughs> I'm just the morning has not been my time of thriving as such I'm running late so I'm making a smoothie for breakfast. I'm gonna quickly do my makeup, give my hair a minute to sit because I've just been drying it, but I think it's kind of humid in here, so it just doesn't feel like it's drying very well. Do my makeup, straighten my hair, run out the door, and I will talk to you in the car because I gotta calm out so I can do that. don't know how this footage is going to go because I've never used this camera mount before and I was meant to have more time but I am going to get my hair cut <laughs> and I've also never seen this woman before because obviously I haven't been in three years and we've moved since last time I got my hair cut so I am rushing because Matt was meant to leave me cash he got cash out for me last night to pay the hairdresser he forgot to leave the cash <laughs> So now I have to stop and get cash out before I go because she only takes cash I guess and I feel so bad because I am running late and I hate running late but I especially hate running late when it's my first time <sighs> like my first time seeing someone I am stuck behind a truck this is not helping my stress levels <laughs> oh my gosh this truck is taking so long I did call the hairdresser though, and she was very nice. She just said, get here when you can get here. I feel so bad. And there is a smudge on my glasses. Oh, they're turning. Yes, praise the Lord, they're turning. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is not how the vlog was meant to go, my friends. This was not how it was meant to go. Four minutes until I get to Coles. And then I'm gonna have to hightail it. Lord, give me patience. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna focus on driving, take some deep breaths. I haven't even finished my breakfast smoothie, so I should do that. And a red light. Great. Love that for me. Okay, bye. Well, I think I have hair all over my face still, but I got a haircut. <laughs> Don't mind me just staring at myself in the viewfinder. 
I got this fringe because I kind of wanted something that I could like wear forward or I could like, you know, do the whole curtain bangs thing or I could just u do my usual. <sighs> what a whirlwind, my goodness. That was like, that was quite literally, hang on, let me stop futzing with that. That was quite literally the fastest haircut I have had in my life. I was in and out in like 10 minutes. That woman knows what she is doing. She is a very intimidating woman, but she has clearly been cutting hair for a very long time. So I am done already and it's 9.43. <laughs> so for context, I got into the salon and like sat down at like 9.24 and I was out quite literally 10 minutes later and then I like futzed around with camera and drove around and here we are. So insane. I was not expecting to be done this early, but I do definitely, cause she just did like a dry quick cut. I do definitely have hair like all over my face and I wouldn't mind going and like putting a bit of a curl in this or something. Now I'm thinking like what else can we do today? I have, I actually made a list in my phone. Let me see if I can show you. So I made a list in my phone of different things that I can do for vlogmas and kind of like assigned a day to some of the stuff but then I also just have some random little things that I could do, like wrapping presents and making shortbread and all that kind of stuff. So what do I want to do today? I can't stop touching my hair. <laughs> oh no, and I just realized I haven't been on stories. Dang it. I'm really trying hard to not end up... I definitely have hair in my eye. I'm trying really hard to not end up completely like abandoning stories because I'm vlogging because that's very much what normally happens so I'm trying to make sure that I keep up with Instagram Matt just texted me wants to see my hair okay I think I'm going to go home because I'm thinking I might go to TK Maxx which if you're in America is basically TJ Maxx I don't know why the name is different but I'm thinking I might go there and we can do like a little bit of a shop with me. Not that I really have much to get, but I love going to TK Maxx. It's so much fun. And it was one of the things on my list and I would prefer to get that done earlier in the month. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do that, but I'm going to go home and get all of the hair off my face and stuff and maybe, maybe add a wave to this or something first. So let's go home. <laughs> Had a bit of a tidy up which definitely helped my mindset clearly i did not end up doing anything really to my hair i added a bit of dry shampoo and that's kind of it and i kind of love it <laughs> which is so good oh hello gilbert hello oh you are very washed out my friend <laughs> so this is kind of this is why i wanted to get some layers and things so that i could wear my hair However, and it would just look a little bit nicer and have a bit more personality to it, even if I only had time to straighten it. So, I am very happy. I feel like I haven't said that. It was just, it was such a whirlwind. I was not expecting the cut to be a 10 minute thing. It was very cheap though, so it was very worth it. You know those people where you're just like, you know what you're doing. It was just a whirlwind. But... <laughs> I just, this morning has not gone the way I expected it to go. Oh, Gilby. 
I think he knows that I'm stressed. <laughs> so I've made myself a chamomile and a hot water bottle. And I think I'm just going to lie down and do a bit of a like meditation thing and just try and like center myself a little bit and calm down. I'm loving the haircut and this will not be so separated when I wash it next. <laughs> I also have two packages coming today. It's just, I'm just feeling frazzled. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, I feel so much better now that I've made the bed though. There's something about making the bed. Let me know, do you make the bed every day or not? Because I generally do and it makes me feel so much better. I'm sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder because I really like my haircut. <laughs> oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. I have no idea how all of this footage is going to go. Here's the thing. Vlogmas, the way that I'm doing it this year, is very different to the way I've done it other years, which is good. But I want to make sure that I'm looking after myself, so I'm thinking maybe I will take a chill pill, otherwise known as have a cup of chamomile. Look at this distinguished gentleman just, just hanging out with me. He is my little buddy. I love him so much. Oh, there's a bad outside. <laughs> I think I'll take a chill pill. I'll do a little bit of editing, have lunch, and then we'll go to TK Maxx. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little while. Let's try this soup, shall we? Because here's the thing. I love soup, especially because it's so easy to meal prep and get really nourishing food. And I've been trying to really make sure I put emphasis on looking after myself. The weather has been really weird, cold and wet and rainy and windy. So I found this recipe and most of the chicken potato soup recipes I found, because we need to use up potatoes. We've got a lot of potatoes to use up. And most of the recipes I found had milk or cream or that kind of stuff in them. And I've noticed I really don't do very well with dairy that has been heated. Now, I also prefer to just have like raw milk, so not heat processed at all. But especially if I'm like cooking with things or even like warming things up for like a hot chocolate, things like that, which is really sad. My stomach doesn't love it. So I finally found a recipe on Pinterest for a chicken potato soup that didn't have dairy in it. So if it's good, I'm gonna taste it. If it's good, I will put a link in the description. Public service. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. That's pretty good. Oh, the chicken's really soft. So we made this on the stove top, but it is actually a slow cooker recipe as well, which is even better. I love a good slow cook recipe. So I'll link it in the description. I've decided that this afternoon, well, for the next like two, three hours at least, I'm just gonna chill. Okay, I feel really lazy doing that, but I'm trying to get rid of that narrative in my mind because I need the rest, to be honest. And my priority with doing Vlogmas is continuing to look after myself well. And it is like a day or two before that time of the month for me. So I'm feeling very tired and I know I need to stop. So I'm going to chill out edit what I have so far so that that's already done footage wise. And then when Matt gets home, we have some groceries, like a couple little things we need to do. So we're gonna go and do that. And we'll go to TK Maxx, which is very exciting. And I honestly, I so much prefer going with Matt than going by myself anyway. It's just more fun to me. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I might even have a nap and you will know if I have a nap, that's the sign that it's like, wow, Steph was tired. Cause I don't, I don't like napping cause I don't want to mess with my sleep. So anyway, that's the update. <laughs> I just realized advent calendars. Okay, so the chocolate one and the tea one, we're gonna wait until Matt's home, but this one is all mine. <laughs> so it's basically, it's meant to be like a bracelet. So you get, 
I'm assuming the bracelet in this top one, if I can ever get it open, and then charms in the bottom ones. Oh my gosh. I got it open and it says, open me. I'm so glad it said that. I would have had no idea what to do with it. Oh, it has a charm on it. Oh, that's nice. I didn't think it would. Okay, so this is like a Pandora style, Pandora style bracelet. So there's the little clasp and and that's the little snowflake charm. It's a Christmas themed bracelet. It was from Aldi. It wasn't very expensive. So I'm not sure if I can wear this, you know, every day and whether it will stand the test of time. But I suppose we will find out because I want to wear it because my husband got it for me and that makes me happy. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. I really wasn't expecting a charm on this one. Yay. I am so glad I ordered more batteries for Vlogmas because I've just had to change the battery. <laughs> so my two parcels have both arrived and I thought I would really quickly show you at least some of what's in them. I have a bag here from the Iconic and a big box. So I'm not going to show you everything in super detail because that would be really long. But I love that the Iconic has this like reusable packaging. I really appreciate that because you just kind of tear it open and then if you need to return anything you can put it back in the bag which is super cool so there is actually a Christmas present for Matt in here so I'm not going to show that because he's amazing and he'll probably watch my videos I bought a dress because we have never actually been to church especially not like our home church on Christmas Day it's not something I have ever in my 29 years done and I was informed, which I guess it makes sense, that people dress up a little bit for Christmas, especially at our church, which I love because we have a very multicultural church. And so you get a lot of the like amazing, colorful, like African outfits and people that are Indian wear their saris and everyone just gets really dressed up. And I love an excuse to get dressed up and be colorful. And I'm trying to branch out <laughs> so i got a very colorful dress i just hope it actually ends up being warm enough for me to wear this get that. could you try again no i just hope it's actually warm enough because it's been very chilly here recently so i will have to try this on it is i think it's a maxi dress from memory or it's like midi like calf length it is like a little see-through. I don't know if you can tell. Man, I feel like I feel like I will wear this color well, this pattern, but I'm nervous. Like it's outside my comfort zone. But it is the it's the Atmos. I'm not sure if it's going to focus. It's the Atmos and Here brand. It's not going to focus, but I really like this stuff. So, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'll have to try it on and make sure it fits, but that's exciting. I have scissors, I came prepared. Fun fact actually about these scissors. I have had, well, these were originally my mum's scissors and I stole them, I think when I moved out of home or something, which was, you know, 10 years ago. And like, I think they were always in my mum's sewing box. So she's had these for as long as I can remember. And it's such a random thing to have from your childhood, a pair of scissors, but they're so nostalgic to me. Okay. Yay! So, if you didn't know, because I have talked about it before, I use Monate for my hair care and skincare, and I'm also a market partner with Monate, and they had Black Friday sales, and I had been holding off ordering because I needed some conditioner, I was run running out, and I'd been holding off ordering, hoping they would have really good sales, and they did, so. Yay! How cute is this bag? I got some conditioner, Matt's favorite shampoo, some dry shampoo and glossy shine mist. This is a new one that I haven't tried. So I'm very excited to try that. Very excited to have conditioner because I think I used the last of my conditioner this morning. 
But with it, I got a free hair tool, which is very exciting. So I chose the Steam Dream straightening iron. I didn't know this was a thing. But apparently, straightening irons with like a steam pod in them or something. Look at this packaging. <laughs> Holy cow. So apparently, straightening irons with like a little steam reservoir or something in them is a thing now. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing this is what I used to put the water in. My living room is covered in stuff now. Let's have a look. It looks like it has a little unlock thing there. And I don't know if you can see, it has like a ridge in there. And I guess this is where the steam comes out of. Okay, oh, and it's got buttons here for temperature control, which is cool. I like it when the buttons are tucked away and not on the outside, that's very good. I have found the steam pod part. Hang on, let me lock that. Steam pod bit. It's like a steam mop. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's crazy. Okay, so apparently I'm gonna read the instructions, but it sounds like you fill this with water, pop it in, turn the straightening iron on. I've been using the same Remington straightener. I mean, since I started straightening my hair when I was like 13, <laughs> I think I've had a total of three. So if you need a good budget straightening iron, definitely check out Remington because they're very, very good. But I'm very excited to try this out. We'll have to give this a test run either tomorrow or maybe Saturday when I've washed my hair fresh. Okay, now I need to tidy up the mess that I have just made because I've just got wrapping and stuff everywhere. <laughs> which is fun. I'm editing the footage for the vlog so far and I'm 14 minutes in already and I've just talked for 10 minutes. But we're going to TK Maxx later, so I'm really hoping this doesn't end up being too long of a vlog. I'm a little bit nervous about that. So I'm trying to like keep things fast paced. I may need to cut out some of my talking because I feel like I've been very chatty today. So I'm gonna stop talking now, get back to editing, catch up with you when Matt gets home. <laughs> We are confused about Matt's face. We're about to go in to the shops. I'm very curious to see how it's set, how insane it is. I can't talk. You should probably be able to talk. <laughs> My prayer's gone bye bye. The car park has already been a little bit, a little bit cray cray. Let's stop yammering and get into the shops. Seed of vanilla spice. What the obsession with pine is. Australia does not have that obsession. It's in, not an Australian store? It's just 
fresh cut pine. This actually smells alright. Why are they fresh cut pine? Who cares about pine? It doesn't smell good. That's okay, but that's cinnamon. <laughs> They've got dogs on them. We can't do that, we have cats. Gnomes? Peace on air. Santa stuck in the chimney. Oh, those are kind of cool. They're kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at all these blankets. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's excessive. I feel like this would be uncomfortable to sit on. <laughs> That's not meant to be but comfortable. I also love this one. Yeah, but they're not meant to be comfortable, Matt. They're just meant to be decoration. Didn't you know that's what cushions are for? They're not for comfort. Well, it does say decorative pillow. Well, there you go. I love these kinds of signs. That's a cool present. Look at all these. I love these. These are cool. Oh, we have to have a moment for all the planners. Oh, I like this. Of course you do, it's right done. It says things, stuff, or what did I break? Nothing. This is a little, oh, cal it's it's a little, little calendar. calendar. <laughs> and yes, of course I like it. It says it's it's right done. It says things, right done, pens, pencils, more, and stuff. <laughs> Would you find a cat one? Hmm. He's got a bow tie. And glasses. This is a very smart cat. Put your Christmas leftovers in Christmas themed containers. That's actually amazing. Are they plastic? Yeah. Oh, that's that's good for sending people home with leftovers. Do you want it? That thing's cool. We don't have enough people over for things like hot chocolate. <laughs> Do we want it? It's so cool. <laughs> I want to get you that so badly. Go. Before we buy more stuff. <laughs> yes. It all just keeps going. You don't need any of this. More soap. More soap. Show us the bag. <laughs> Such a nice bag. I think those eggplants might be fake. They they look fake. All covered in wax. Either way, they look fake. So clearly we are not in TJ Maxx anymore. TK Maxx? TK Maxx. I can never remember which one is the one we have. TK Maxx. We're in Aldi getting bananas and we milk. from one North Australian <laughs> shop to another North Australian <laughs> shop. Yes. Oh, and no, we never found that meal. Should we look? Eh, yeah, pardon. So, oh dear, Gilbert is getting under my feet. We almost forgot something very important. For me, particularly for me. What do you mean particularly for you? It could be a tea I like. That exists? I like chamomile, that's a tea. This is very true. Is it chamomile? I don't, well, let's find out. Okay. So, I mentioned in the video that you would have seen yesterday. If you didn't see that, you should go watch it because it was a great vlog if I do say so myself. She's not wrong. <laughs> um, I mentioned that we got the T2 advent calendar. So we're going to open the first window and we're going to make tea. Oh, look at that sunlight. It's so pretty. We actually hilariously got this from TK Maxx. <laughs> it's a very nice teapot. Beautiful teapot. It has a great pour. A very great pour, which you would have seen in yesterday's video, and you will continue to see. That's why we got the, and in the intro. loose leaf tea. So let's spin this around. Okay, Matt, open her up. Let's move the teapot out of the way. 
Yay! What is it? Not look at it. Why are we not looking at it? Because you the whole thing was we wanted to try and guess what it was, wasn't it? No, because then I could end up drinking black tea. It's a fruit tisane, apparently. Okay. It it'll it will be always be very clear when it's black tea. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay. It's looking and smelling delicious. Okay, we will be back in three to five minutes, apparently. Four minutes. We've picked four minutes. <laughs> we'll be back in four minutes. A few moments later. Okay. Let us pour. Such a nice pour. A little bit of cold water so that we can taste them. Okay. This Shall we? Terrible lighting, but let's go for it. Tell me if it's too hot. You have a better... Oh, it smells really nice. You have a better um, resistance to it. Temperature's okay. Oh, good. Has the flavor. Flavor's good. Very fruity. What was it? It was a fruit to say. Peach, papaya, apple, roasted chicory. Okay, so apparently this is called Pax of Peach. I would say... It's not too bad. It's pretty good. It's not bad, and probably a bunch of artificial flavors. Look, we don't mention that. Okay. Quick haul now that we are home and then we're going to end this vlog. Hopefully I can cut down all the footage from TK Maxx. How amazing was all of the Christmas stuff, by the way. There was so much stuff. Okay, so we mostly got things for the friend miss Christmas lunch that we're going to be having, which I'm very excited about. We have pretty much all the Christmas decor we need, so... We didn't really buy much in the way of Christmas decor. We just bought one thing that we don't have. And that was the Ray Dunn tea towels. You would have seen me pick these up. I wish you could feel these. But what we've learned about TK Maxx is if you see something, you should buy it because it probably won't be there next time. And this feels like it might be a bit ridiculous, but we got <laughs> the Christmas food containers. They are plastic, but they are reusable. They are dishwasher safe, freezer safe, microwave safe, so I don't feel too bad sending people home with these, but I want to make sure that if we have any leftovers, we don't waste them. So if we have leftovers, we'll send them home with people, and if not, we'll probably just return them. And then we got a couple of things for the table. I'm yet to find actual dinner plates. They had one set that was beautiful. I don't know if I got footage of it. They were really lovely plates, really like high quality paper plates, but they were very busy. Like the pattern was very busy. I don't like a busy pattern and then put food on top of it. I feel like that doesn't work. So we got these little Merry Christmas red plates with gold foil. These will be for dessert. They are dessert plates. So there is 16 there. And then we got these napkins. I really, really, really like these napkins. I think they look really, really nice. They're a little bit retro and I feel like they go with this pretty well. And then I did spice some plates at Kmart that I wouldn't mind getting that should go with these as well, like as a sort of set. So yeah, that's, that's all we got. <laughs> I say all. Like I said, we didn't really need many things. And I wanted to really quickly say just here at the end of the video. With Vlogmas, I have been planning this for a while, but we have also been anticipating December for a while. My videos aren't normally, even my Instagram, like my Instagram stories, aren't normally full of, you know, lots of purchasing and buying things and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like with December and the things that we have happening, it might seem like we're buying a lot of things, but part of that is that we saved some things. Like even getting my hair cut, I saved for Vlogmas, just so it was something interesting that was happening. You know, I'm planning on going to the thrift store, the op shop to try and find some serving platters for our Christmas lunch. I just feel like there's gonna be more buying and spending than usual. And even the things turning up, today like it's just not the norm for us and it's something that we have saved for and we've done quite mindfully so I just kind of wanted to say that because as much as I don't think spending money is a bad thing I think that being wise with your money is a good thing and is necessary and 
you know, people always have questions, I feel like, when it comes to spending money and, you know, YouTubers and Instagrammers and all that kind of stuff. This is not normal during the year life and it's stuff that we've kind of planned out really intentionally. We've also had kind of a rough year and, you know, we kind of want to end it on a fun note. <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to December and even Vlogmas, partially because I've planned so many fun things and in some ways it feels like a present to myself as much as it is also stuff that I'm doing kind of as like entertainment for you guys and things that will be funny and make you laugh and make you interested and show you Australia and Christmas in Australia so yeah I just get, I kind of wanted to touch on that and say we're being very mindful this is not our normal life I love these I'm so excited to send friends home with like dessert and things like that Ugh. Anyway, also by the way, if you could help me out, let me know in the comments whether you think this video should be Vlogmas Day 1 or Vlogmas Day 2. Because I feel like it should be Vlogmas Day 2 because I did upload a video yesterday by the time you're seeing this. But it hasn't actually gone live yet, it goes live in a couple of hours. So I feel like this should be Vlogmas Day 2. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you would give it a thumbs up. It really does help to support my channel and, you know, get my content out to other people that might enjoy it. If you have a friend that might enjoy seeing, you know, Christmas in Australia and just kind of a different vibe, definitely send them over here and let them know that we're doing Vlogmas and it's going to be festive and fun. And we'll see you for Vlogmas Day, I'm going to say Day 3 tomorrow, which will be the 2nd of December. So, see you then!